when you open up Final Cut Pro, you're going to see now these four boxes here where it says Aaron Documentaries. That is called a library, okay? Now, you're going to get a blank library when you open Final Cut for the first time, or I would suggest create a new one. There you go, new library. And I'm going to name this Classroom Teaching. And now what happens is, is when you create a library, it automatically generates a new event. And an event is your target. It's where your projects will live, your media, your uh, graphics, music, or referencing music from here. So kind of think of like the library like a file cabinet. The event is a folder in the file cabinet. And inside the events are your clips, which I'm going to import by using this import button in a second. And it's where you have your projects. And I'm going to start by creating a project. So create a library, an event will automatically be generated, and then create a new project. Now, what is a project? A project is simply your timeline. I'm going to call it Timeline 1 just to make it so you get it. Timeline 1, it's right down here. Do you see that? And we're going to talk about in the above video the difference between this pink line, the skimmer, and the white line, the playhead, how the skimmer is the real destination for your media. But that's another story. Okay, so you have projects, they live in your events, which live in your libraries. How should you organize your libraries? Well, I have a library that has all my documentaries, one for all my classroom teaching, and maybe another library with corporate videos that contains different clients' videos, but maybe I might want to switch and share material between them, and it's easier if that material's all in one library. Now, what's so cool about libraries, you can open and close them. So let's say Aaron Documentaries, I'm not working on that. I can go up to file and I can go close library and look at it. It's no longer listing in my library, taking up space, and also it's not eating up any of that background rendering or RAM so that it's Final Cut works a little better now. Let me just put it that way. So you can open and close, but you always have won't have to have one library open. So see, file, it won't let me close anything there, okay? It will not let me close the library. You see that? because it has to always have at least one library open in one event in each library. So watch, if I create a new library, which I'll just call to be erased, and I'll go file, and now do you see I can close that library because there were two and now there's one. So we have classroom teaching, our timeline, and again, you choose your event before you bring in your footage, it's a new cool button okay if I had a camera it would be up here I'm looking for the silver man down here we're almost done there's just one more little thing and remember when you import footage you get a dialog box they've changed these two things made it simpler to understand basically it's telling me it's gonna to go to my event that's my target we're archers we have arrows that's media timelines we want to make sure all the arrows go to the right target that's why choosing your event before you do major things is so important and here we can choose whether to copy this file, Silverman, to this event. And if it was on another drive, I probably would do that. But since it's on the same drive as my event, I'm going to leave it in place. So when do you choose leave in place? When do you choose copy? Well, when you're bringing in material from a camera, it'll gray out leave in place. Your only choice will be copy files or from, let's say, a card reader. I'll leave the files in place if the material is already on my hard drive that I use for all, for this entire project, for this entire event. It's contained within my libraries. So it's up to you. If the footage you always have access to, access to, it's on a drive that's always connected to your computer, and you just want to use it in another event, leave in place. But if your friend loans you a thumb drive and you need to copy that material then, okay? We'll hit import, and what you know is uh, so cool about Final Cut Pro, you don't have to wait. The clips automatically come in. You can start cutting away. Okay? So, in summary, that's the new changes with Final Cut. Have fun with the new Final Cut Pro. I love it. More coming. Aaron from DVWorkshops.com. I'm loving it.